What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. We are at the bins in Fort Worth. So we're gonna do a little bin digging, see if Monique strikes more gold in there. I hope so. It'll be cool if we find let's find more Tula Pink. <laughs> um so um we did a little or Monique did a little bit of homework on that fabric that we sold for eight hundred dollars. And uh just a little brief a little brief story of why it go it went for so much. Yeah, so she like hand draws a lot of her designs before she, you know, like puts it on Adobe and she, all that stuff. By she, she uh, Tula Pink. Tula Pink is the. She's a designer. Yeah. And that fabric line is called Parisville. She was inspired by Marie Antoinette. I think she was inspired by the movie more so. But anyways, it's that style, you know, like very Renaissancey and. If you look closely at the fabric, there's like more details, like the the cameos have like, they call it ship hair. So it's it's just really pretty. She has a very large cult following. A lot of people quilt with her fabric. It's a younger audience. So that's why it's so, sought after. And it's out, it was, it's, it's out of print. Yeah, it's out of production. It's very rare fabric. Yeah, so there you go. A little backstory on that fabric. Let's get into the bins. Yeah. Uh, I've been going through a couple of bins already. I found a couple of small items. Um, nothing exciting yet. Uh, we're still looking. A lot of these bins are full though. There's actually a lot of toys, but I haven't seen anything that I want to, any toys that I really want. Um, what is this? Who's that? I don't know. Castle here. It's like a cassette tape holder this is a Keurig somebody doesn't like the Keurig and yeah lots of uh, what's this uh, let's see there's some plush too but nothing really exciting let's see let's look over here what's over here Fun stuff. A little dinosaur. A hot wheel. Uh. Yep, but this is uh, pretty much how it's been so far. I've only gone through one road. And like I said, I got a couple of small things, but we'll keep looking. What is, what is this? I saw this from across the way. Cool. Is it a mask? Oh, it is a mask. It turns into a mask. You see that? Right there. So you cut it out and you fold it and that's kind of cool. That's pretty awesome. Oh, that's cool. I like that, but it has this big old crease on it. I'm gonna leave it behind, but that is pretty cool. I saw, I just saw this poking out from across the way and I was like, what is that? Cool though. What'd you find? What'd you find? Uh, sweet Nightmare Before Christmas Jack Skellington. Nightmare Before off. Christmas Jack Skellington? Yeah, it has an interesting texture. It's like faux suede or something. Oh, it's pretty cool. cool, man. Sweet. You want some baseballs? I want some baseballs. Any more $800 uh, no, not fabric? Yet. <laughs> Oh man, check that out. Sweet. Um, I found this really cool blanket. It's like a tapestry type blanket. It's a queen size. And the tag says made in USA in New York, New York. And the trim looks like this. It's really cool. It's very nice. It's huge and it's super heavy. What size is it? It's for a queen. Oh, okay. That's what the tag says. Um, got this little cowboy handkerchief made in USA. It has like little cowboy boots on it. I even found this Pokemon shirt. It's like a tie-dye 
black and blue tie-dye with Blastoise on it. Is it Blastoise? Yeah, I think it's so. my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> That's what the back looks like. So I picked up these vintage jeans, but only because they were there. But they are, um, I'm gonna have to like fix the zipper, it like came undone from here. So I think that's why whoever left them behind. But they're just like plain in the back, they're stretchy, they're kind of like, they're kind of like skinny jeans. Um, I even found this other cool tie-dye shirt, it has a really cool like color combo and it says Volkswagen on the back and also on the sleeve. So Louisville is a city we have here in Texas. So I guess it came from the dealership. It's a pretty cool shirt, man. Yeah. If it fit me, I would I would keep it. You know, I don't know how I'd look in a tie-dye shirt. You would look like such a cool hippie, man. But yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, I found this like purpley gray colored velour hoodie. And I thought it was interesting because it has like the like that hoodie pocket in the front and then it has a hood. I got this green mud brand tank top so when i list it i'm gonna put like a earth core like as one of the hashtags you know that's what all the cool kids are doing i found this little like bb tank top but these are like the older design ones it's more like vintagey it's a small it reminds me of like uh doesn't it remind you like the older tank tops? Like late 90s, early 2000s, especially with this type deal? Yeah, with the little rhinestones. Um, I think you found this one, didn't you? Sure. This is all wrinkly. Um, it says, blame it on my roots. And it's this cool like, this edgy chick. She's very stylish. I don't know, she's kind of like rockabilly-ish. She has like tattoos and stuff. And then the back looks like that. What does it say? Sugar, sugar Shack. Sugar Shack. So it's a pretty cool graphic and it's like a nice color. Um, I found this Nightmare Before Christmas Jack Skellington tank top and it's like printed on like a faux suede material. I like the graphic because he's like standing in front of a coffin. He has little bats up there and it has like a metallic, it's like a metallic graphic. Yeah, it, it's funny because I grabbed it and I was like, whoa, what is this? Yeah, it's like a fake suede. Um, and then I found this. It's not anything old, but I thought it was really cute. So it's um, Chucky from the Rugrats. And it says, we're doomed. And he's like running. It's so cute. We got this Point Zero brand. I don't know. I've never heard of it. Um, T-shirt. And it kind of has like a, I don't even know how would how would you describe this? I feel like this kind of like print and it's, style was like popular in the- It's like those, those affliction shirts. Yeah, it's like that. So that's what the back looks like. And it kind of has like a filigree type thing going on. The the tag, the brand seems familiar. Point zero. Older. Point zero, I feel like I've, I've seen that or something, I don't know. That, that was a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> that was a whole lot of nothing for you guys. Uh, this is by the brand Riot Queen, made in Mexico. I just like what it said. And I like how the graphic looks on there. So it kind of has like a celestial design. That's the back. And it's on a, like a light pink color, like a dusty rose. Dusty um, rose has a t-shirt. I got this one, cause you know, that's my home state. That's where I'm from, California. It's really pretty. California, woo woo. And um, yeah, it's just on a 100% cotton tag, Fruit of the Loom. But I thought it was cute. It looks older. It looks like a 90s thing, but it's not that old. Um, I got this little, like, pullover sweater. And this one looks older to me. It looks vintage -y. I like the little design on there. It's like some little embroidery with some buttons and stuff. I just thought it was interesting. And I like this little, um... It almost looks like you're wearing two shirts, but you're not. I remember that used to be a thing, huh? Yeah, I think yeah. so. I found this still like mechanic shirt. Still the um. It's a tool brand. Yeah, they make like chainsaws and stuff. And it's pretty, cl it's pretty clean, dog. So I don't know. It's the bins, you know. You try <laughs> stuff out. Uh, I found this canvas tote bag, and it has this graphic that says Vogue on it. 
I think it is older because I was like checking it out. From what I could tell, it is a little bit older, so we'll see. Um, I got this Guess t-shirt. Guess was really popular like when I was going to school. So I thought it was cute. It's like a, on a army green t-shirt and has a cool sparkly graphic. I found this uh, vintage shirt. It has like a cool cartoon uh, graphic on there and it says Bear Ass Casino. Bear Ass Casino and it says Bear your wallet, but don't lose your ass. Ridoso, New Mexico. And it's single stitch. Oh yeah, that's legit. It's single vintage. stitch. And uh, there's the tag right there. It's called, it's Eagle and Kansas City made in USA. So that was pretty cool. Too bad it doesn't fit me. I keep it. I don't know, maybe it might really? fit me. I can't, bro. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll just wear it, I'll just wear it all tight. You're gonna wear a crop top? So you can see all my goodies. Yeah, so I thought that was cool. This is one of those way to celebrate Halloween t-shirts. Uh, so it just says free high fives and it has like a zombie hand coming out of the ground. I thought that would be cool for Halloween. I even found this cool dare t-shirt. I mean, not much to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I saw it and I was like, whoa, it's a dare yeah, t-shirt. Cool. Um, oh, okay, I remember this one. Uh, I found this Texas 1996 Big 12 Champions t-shirt. It's really shredded, but I know some people are like into that. Some people like that look. So this one's made in Mexico, so it is vintage. It's really shredded. Um, I got this top. I think it's by Billa. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. It's by Bongo. And it looks like someone like took pretty good care of it. It's like all ironed and everything. It's like a light pink color. And then I found this one. It kind of looks like um, Keith Haring inspired. It says faded. It has that graphic on there with a little peace sign. On the bottom it says, I want to say it says Reason Brand. Yeah, I think that's what it says. I've never heard of it, but I thought it was a cool graphic. Maybe some party kid will like that. I don't know. And then I found this Pusheen t-shirt. It's so cute. I might keep it. So it's a little chunky Pusheen cat and he has like a little hamburger, french fries, and a drink. So cute. This one... Reminds me of like all the vintage t-shirts that are in fashion right now. I wish I would have buttoned it up, but it has like these really pretty blue flowers on there. And then it looks like an older tag. So I thought it was really pretty. This one gives me like um like earth earth what is that called? Earthcore vibes. Earthcore. Very very <laughs> vibes. It's very boho. I like the color. It has some little ties on the front, and it's just really pretty. Bruce Lee! I found this Bruce Lee shirt, nothing special. DGK brand, it's printed, so nothing, nothing special, it's just Bruce Lee. That's why I picked it up. But it's cool, man. It's pretty cool. I got these pants for me. <laughs> Psych! Uh, these are older, these are Pendleton actually. That's oh, they are? Them. Yeah. These are Pendleton, 100% virgin wool, made in the USA. They have pockets, so these will be on the D-Palps. Oh, and then they also have a zipper here and some buttons. Oh, and then I forgot about these two. These are also vintage. These are wool. It's by a brand called TJ's of California. 100% pure wool. So. Got these slacks, they have pockets also. And the only thing I could see that was wrong with them is kind of like, there's like a little pinhole here. So these are cool. These are very long and nice. This is probably my favorite shirt that Monique picked up. This haul, I thought it was cool. Kellogg's, I guess they were doing Kellogg's t-shirts recently, but. I don't think it's that old, but it no. is cute though. It has like all the little cereal mascots on there. 
Um, it has like the Rice Krispie cereal guys, Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Yeah, the, the tie dye and everything on it looks tiger. cool. Yeah, it's nice. Here's this one. This is the one. This is your favorite. Oh yeah, this one's really cute. I, I don't recognize the tag, but I do like the graphic on there. So it's a little guy. It's a little cowboy guy chasing a dog, and the dog's like stealing all the little hot dogs. It's really cute. The tag is mischief made the tag's really cute too it has like a yeah, little yeah it's pretty cool native american girl on there it's very cute oh um this was just by apartment nine but it's really pretty it's like very well made and i'm probably gonna list it under goth i like all the lace on here this one I, this tank top i found and it says Orange County, California, stick to your guns. And it has the uh, Yakko, Wacko, and Dot on here. Um, I haven't looked it up, but I picked this up because, well, first of all, because the Animaniacs are on here. And then Stick to Your Guns was a, like, hardcore band oh. back in the day. And they were they were called, I don't know if this, if this goes, is from that band, mm -hmm. which would be weird because of the Animaniacs being on there. You know? I don't know. But um, they, um, but again, this could be a whole totally different thing. I just remember a band, a hardcore band back in the day called Stick to Your Guns. And uh, there was like one song that I liked. But um, yeah, I thought it was just an uh, interesting tank top. Because I was like, how I, I still want to find the connection between Stick to Your Guns and this, these the uh, Animaniacs. Animaniacs. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Uh, this is just a Nirvana t-shirt. It's just in good shape. It's not old. But the graphic is nice. Also found a Goosebumps shirt. I think this is women's. Is it women's or children's? It's teeny. Well, you know what? It's a large children's size, but it'll fit a small woman. Oh, I'm gonna, it's my size shirt. <laughs> Monique found this shirt. It's a mountain shirt. And it has a cat wearing a duvet or a bandana and a gold chain. So it's thug life. That's so funny. That's funny. I'm going to keep it. Does it fit you? It's a 2X, so. Oh, I mean, it looks brand new. If it fits you, you can keep it. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, this is a Paris Blues little stretchy tan shirt. It's very fitted. It's vintage. Oh, I just got these jeans to see if they would fit me, actually. They're just like some random generic brand. Just some stretchy pants. Stretchy pants. Uh, first of all, I got some plush. I got a little Dalek here from Dr. Professor's Space Time. Oh, is that what it's from? No, it's from, uh, it's from Dr. Oh, Who. Oh, see, you messed me up. It's from Dr. Who. Uh, Professor Space Time, that's, I think that's his name. That's from Community, the TV show Community. Oh. oh. Um, but, uh, yeah, so there we got that one. And it's supposed to talk. I switched out the batteries, but I don't know how to get it to talk. Mm. I've been trying to squeeze everything in. I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't work. But it has new batteries. And then I found this, uh, like, Weeble Wobble Betty Boop She's plush. Like chunky, yeah. And this is from 2017. It's just thick on the bottom. Yeah. So, there you go. And I got a heavy pote. Who is this? Head, head, the owl. Headwick. Hedwig? Little plush there, and it has the tag. And it's made by Gund, so that's pretty cool. And, oh, and is that supposed to be a bookmark? The tag? I don't know. I actually, right. I was thinking that same exact thing when I saw it. But I mean, it could be. Uh, but it, when they first bought it, oh, does this one have the price? No, it doesn't have the price. But, uh, I don't know, but it's pretty cool. And it has the tag, like I said. And then I found, um, I don't remember if it's the Backyardigans or VeggieTales that do well as far as plush goes. Mm -hmm. uh, but I looked up this guy, Ty. Uh, it's a Ty Backyardigans Tyrone. And the comps are like kind of all over the place. There's one pre-owned. One has sold for $16, one has sold for $1, one has sold for $5, one has sold for $14. It's just all over the place. Um, so, I don't know. I'll probably go with the highest one 
which was like 15 bucks and then maybe take an offer i don't know i actually i kind of put it in my bag and was you know gonna check it out at the bins but i forgot and then i picked up two little two little care bears here which will go on my depop oh my our depop shop he's like threading oh, strings coming off and, uh, i'll probably just slot them together and sell them off together yeah they're, they're the same size they're the same size same style uh this one has his um little heart where it says care bears is gone this one's a little bit off but yeah they're the same so put that together and then i found a nerf drum which I'll, I'll uh, pick up the Nerf clips and Nerf drums whenever I feel like it. Mostly it's the drums and then just put them in a lot and sell them off that way. And I found a Build-A-Bear Pokemon like... It's like a little onesie. Like a onesie type, type deal. Or something. Yeah, but it has like the... What do they call it? Pokeballs? Yeah. All over the place. So there you go. Or if you have a dog, a little chihuahua or something, <laughs> you can put this on a chihuahua. It has the little, the the, little ear holes. The little ear holes. A little, little booty hole. It has a little, <laughs> a little toe hole. A little tail hole. Maybe maybe it is. No, uh, cause, no cause this is Build-A-Bear. It's for Build-A-Bear because then the but, little private area would be open. But there you go. You got a little chihuahua, a little terrier, a little Yorkie. Put some little pajamas on it. little pajamas on it. And then I found, right before we were going to leave, I found a uh, whole little box of um, Hero Clicks. So if you're not familiar with Hero Clicks, Hero Clicks are, is like a tabletop game. Kind of like your Pokemans and your Yogios and your whatever dealies. So this is one example right here. This is Moon Knight. And it's a tabletop game where you battle. And on the little figure itself, it has like points. So as you battle, I guess you switch, you turn the little dial and it'll show you like points or something like that. I don't know. I'm not too familiar with it. They just have cool little figures. Um, I'll probably just lot those up together and just sell them as a lot. I really, I tried looking to see, um, I looked through eBay to see if there was any that I had that were like good, you know, high sellers, but I don't. Yeah. Here's Gorilla Grodd. Because I think there are some rare ones, right? Yeah, there's some that are, that are worth pretty much pretty good money mm -hmm. there's even some bigger ones that are worth pretty good money but yeah so we got that box and then <clears throat> i found an eye watch what the heck this is not an eye watch i touch so this is like a kid's oh. eye watch pretty much mm -hmm. and it, i put it changed the battery i charged it and uh it works oh sweet oh there's batman on there there was like pictures of some 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 kid on here That's i cute. deleted it all i deleted all that stuff so and it takes pictures like if I turn on the camera. Is it missing part of the wristband? Oh. Oh. You see that? You see yourself? Mm hmm There you go. Can you see you guys? It has a little camera and it like takes video and um, pictures. Yeah, so both pieces are here of the wristband. The only thing is that this one, the little metal, little metal hinge mm -hmm. thingy came off. But I don't know. I mean, they're selling on eBay. Not for too much. And then, I was something else I was supposed to also look up before uh, I left the bins. It's this little like um, Beyblade uh, launcher? electronic launcher. And then I got some little toys here. I got this uh, Marvel Legends figure with no hands. Uh, I got oh this one's cool. I like this figure a lot. This little Ursula here. Yeah, she's pretty cool. It's a cool one. And for the collection, another <laughs> McDonald's uh, Oops, little, little beanie, beanie baby. Got the Ronald McDonald. I don't have this one. I have one that has a Happy Meal, which is green. I have the chicken nugget one. And what is this one? The soda? Yeah. Oh, no. Happy Meal. It's just the Happy Meal. And now this is Ronald McDonald. So that is pretty cool. So another one for the collection. I don't even know how many there are of those. So I, I need to look that up. And then I saw something that Monique was going to like. She already saw it. She's a little. I a glanced little, at it yesterday. She's a little peeper. She's like, "What is that?" And it's this um, strawberry little shortcake? strawberry shortcake here. Here oh, you go, ma'am. Cool. This is for you. Oh, thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Oh, she's carrying a little cake. 
That's cute. I don't have this one. And then I found two uh, a set of Ren and Stimpy little figures. Those are cool. And a couple of other little thingies. Nothing too important. I found another little Lego guy. I think this is from uh, Harry Potter. It's like Orc or something. Uh... And it's like that Venom that I found the other day. Missing one arm, of course. But, uh, yeah. And then a the, uh, Littlest Pet Shop. Oh, yeah. There. I found two of those. And, yeah, that's pretty much all that I got. Uh, nothing too, too crazy. And that's it, guys. That's it for this haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. A little, little you know, more clothing heavy. Mm -hmm. But that's what we're finding. Uh, the plush and toys on my side of the fence just... Haven't been bueno. Haven't been bueno. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, help us get to 3,000 subscribers. We are slowly making our way over there. Uh, we're not too far away, so help us get there. Hit that subscribe button and come back for more videos. We do go to the bins often. So I'd say a big part of our, the majority of our videos are bins videos. Mm -hmm. Except when we get crazy and we like to do something <laughs> else. Um, but yeah, so, but, um, and again, if, if you are interested in any of the items we found, check out the links below in the description, links to the eBay and Depop and Mercari, and also our new Instagram, which we haven't really posted on yet, but we got to figure out what it is we want to post on there. Maybe a little bit of everything. I don't know. Yeah. We just haven't figured it out. But those of you that have gone over there and have, what is it? Followed us, I guess. Mm -hmm. Uh, thanks for doing that we'll eventually start cranking out some um posts on there uh i was just thinking this morning i was like what am i gonna do here? what am i gonna do, what am I gonna do? but uh yeah well, we'll see we'll figure it out but thanks thanks for following us and uh, i think that's it right that's it yeah I think so that's it. thanks for watching we'll Thank see you. you on the next video Bye bye